there beautiful beautiful people it's your girl nastasia and i'm back with another video today well as you can tell today's video is a three in one get ready with me where we're pretty much showing you how i went from this right here to this so if that is something that you are interested in just stay tuned and keep on watching because a girl gonna show you everything from makeup to hair to outfit okay okay so let's get straight to the makeup for primer i'm going to be using the becca forever matte poreless priming protector and I'm going to smudge that all over my face and rub it in real nice, making sure that everything is rubbed into my skin. For my eyebrows, I'll be going in with the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Ash Brown. And this pretty much gives like um, a tint brow effect or like um, a micro need micro needling? Micro blading. There we go. A micro blading um, effect. Normally it comes out way better than this, but it's so hard for me to do this on like not like off camera. It's better for me to like be in the bathroom doing my eyebrows all up close and personal with the mirror so this is a bit challenging for me to do so i'm not sure if i'm like being a good representative for this brand however i really really love this um brow tint pen because it's so easy you just draw it on then you just clean it up with clean up the edges and you can also create hair like strokes and that is what i like because it looks more natural So to clean up my brows, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Born to Glow Radiance Concealer in the color Golden Honey. This is a beautiful color. I normally use it for highlights as well. It's really, really thick and really, really creamy. Um, so you see it's sliding on really nice. And as I said earlier, it's so hard for me to do my eyebrows. Um, like on camera, I need to be up close and personal. Um, when I'm doing my brows, so this is very brave of me. Yay, Nas. <laughs> So I'm just using the same um, Radiant Concealer in Golden Honey to just smudge on my eyelids and just brush out every harsh lines, making it smooth and create a nice transition for the brows. So for my foundation, I'll be going in with the Maybelline New York Super Stay Foundation in Warm Coconut and I'll be mixing that in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Light yellow corrector and that is because um the shade is a little dark for me 
um, now in the winter time so I have to warm it up a little making it slightly lighter to to fit my, my my skin color pretty much so that is what I did I mixed the Maybelline New York super safe foundation in warm honey and I put a little tips of um, uh, LA girl pro conceal in in light yellow to just um, make it a little lighter so any dark foundation that you may have that no longer fits your skin color you can just put some yellow in it it will lighten it up a little and and you can add as you go along and just test the areas just to make sure just to like find the right match for your skin So I know this part is going to be very very crazy and um, TikTok made me do it. Do not judge me because I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Flat White Corrector as an highlight. It is white. I wanted a, a, a lighter um, under eye and that is why I'm going in with that color and I went in immediately after my foundation because as you can see it's re it's blending in with my foundation that I have um, underneath it so it look it is it doesn't look that white afterwards I just needed a, a really bright under eye and this is what I came up with because TikTok made me do it please do not judge me I'm trying it out <laughs> And it turned out good in the end. It, it didn't have no flashbacks or anything. It looked good. And the thing with this is um, I did not bake with it. So that really, really helps because I have really, really dry under eyes. So I did not bake, which is really good. I just powdered and went on. But after blending it out, it did not look so light. After all, as I said, it did blend in nicely with my foundation. So do not judge me. Blame it on TikTok. <laughs> So to set that all in place, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Powder in 115 and this is going to pretty much set everything in place. I'm going in with it lightly, very very lightly. I do not want to bake. So I'm just setting that all in place and then um, doing it on my under eyes, my forehead and all the areas that I want to be slightly um, highlighted. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's minimal, minimal, minimal powder and just brush the excess away or just dab the excess away depending on what you're using. So I'm going to take my Morphe palette. I forgot the name of this palette. I've had it so long. The name already rubbed off. I'm just using the two brown colors. I mix them together and I'm just going to drag that down doing a light contour of the nose. And for the blush, I'm going in with LA Girl Just Blushing in the color Just Radiant. It's this nice rose looking color. Um, I wish it was more pigmented though, however it was still nice. So for a light bronzer, I'm going in with Too Faced Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer in the color Pineapple Sun. And to set all of that in place, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. 
that feels so good on the skin and melts everything together making it all one making it look so uniform then i'm going to go in with my skin shade in Too Faced Born This Way Complexion Powder. It's in the color Butterscotch. Uh, just to just set everything in place. Then I realized that I needed a little more lift on the cheeks. So I went in with my highlighter from MAC. Loose Powder in Golden Bronze. So my camera died without me knowing. I applied my lip gloss which is NYX Butter Gloss in Butterscotch and Brownie Dip. I mixed those together. And then I did my lashes. These lashes I bought from Amazon. That's that and I'll put the link down below. So I just put that on and that will complete the look after spraying one more time. And then we can move on to the hair. So this beautiful wig that I'm wearing is from Beauty Forever. It's the small deep wave in 26 inches and the lace is 13 by 4. I'm just going to clean up the, the baby hairs but listen, do not use this big scissors that I'm about to use. I literally just used what I had right in front of me. Um, <laughs> you need something smaller. If Even if you're a beginner, <clears throat> you really need something smaller. Um, to actually work with so use a smaller a smaller scissors do not use what I use and to lay my edges I'll be using the edge booster um, it's very very good even on natural kinky hair on my hair when I lay my edges my edges go nowhere they stay in put until I want to move them so this is a really really good one um, so if you need a recommendation this is my recommendation for you the edge booster in any of the colors um, it doesn't really matter to me which one um, so yeah that's what I use also I'll be uploading a video mm. on this wig and how I install it with the ball cap method and everything so that will be linked in the description box down below once it's uploaded I'm not sure what which will be uploaded first however stay tuned for a card that should be going up soon so you can just click on that which will direct you to the video for this here whenever it's uploaded that is so yeah so stay tuned for that it's a more detail here where i show you how i install it or i pluck it or i bleach it um and and how it came like how it came out the out the the packaging from beauty forever and all of that so if you're interested in that you can stay tuned and look forward for that video So let's get on to the favorite part, the outfit. So I'm wearing the Zara Rio mini dress in the color lime green. So this is what it's looking like. It's pretty much a wrapped dress and that's what Pejero is. So it's like a wrapped skirt or a wrapped dress. So there's no zips, no buttons. It's just wrapped. And that's what is really, really nice about it. But it's not very safe, if you know what I mean. 
any of the movements you will be feeling breeze just to let you know in advance but it looks so beautiful it matches my skin tone so perfectly you can see the glow that i'm getting from this color um and oh my god look at my skin look at look at my skin in this lime green dress so nice so perfect the the texture is really really nice it feels good on my skin it's not harsh i just look amazing i do look amazing so now it's time to show you the shoes so the shoes that i'm wearing is from a pretty little thing it's the nude square toe clear strap toe loop mid heel new <laughs> these names always just get me because it's so long and so unnecessary anyways it looks really good and i really really love it so this brings us to the ending of this three in one get ready with me please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so that you're notified when i do post my videos if you have any questions for me please leave them in the comment section there down below and i will be happy to respond thank you so much for watching my video to the end and for showing me some love and support thank you so much and have a wonderful day